Hello and welcome to Market Psychology 101, where we look for value in the markets when there's fear and are cautious when there's greed. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some altcoins available on Coinbase. If you have any specific requests for certain altcoins that are available on Coinbase or Robinhood, please comment below. But let's start off with crypto fear and greed. And oh boy, here we go with the nice advertisements. We got up into neutral recently and then came back down into high fear. Finally, Temu giving us something good to look at. As far as fear and greed, you can see here chopping sideways but getting to the lower end. And we're still in this macro downtrend all the way since the peak. We haven't made a new higher high since July or a lower low since August. So just slowly chopping up and sideways through here. But I think the next break, whether it's a lower low here below that, or a higher high will give us a good indication of where we will be going in the medium term. If you're interested in watching any of my videos about the crypto cycles and what my thoughts are on the next Bitcoin top, as far as what this next cycle is going to do, please subscribe. I do videos on this every week. We also talk about Bitcoin mining stocks. And as far as Bitcoin, you can see here that I drew this uh, trend line a while ago and this one bitcoin has been in absolute love with for a while until it broke underneath and then i saw it started creating this sort of parallel trend line or channel showing some weakness came up to it falling back underneath now you can see bitcoin again coming down near the 200 day moving average does have a sell signal on the daily that played out a couple days ago i have on the hike and Ashi candles as well to cut out the noise but if it isn't able to hold this 200 day moving average at around 60,000, then you can expect Bitcoin to probably come down somewhere around this 57K range right here. You can see it hits this trend line of higher lows and there's price action to the left as well. So if this doesn't hold 57K, and then you'd probably also see altcoins go down as well. And before we get into some of the Coinbase altcoins, you can see here Bitcoin dominance coming down as well maybe it'll bounce off the 50 and then go higher i do think that bitcoin dominance can go a little bit higher i'm eyeing 62 percent give or take as my rough estimate for the ultimate high anyways let's get into the altcoins first we'll start off with ethereum and this is something you guys might notice is that ethereum has been bouncing off these higher lows this trend line for a while if it does come back down to this and you can see compared to bitcoin ethereum showing a lot more weakness in the altcoin market overall so there can be some pretty good deals as far as the next crypto cycle top and alt season right now you just got to find them but i do see this as some weakness right here and if it isn't able to hold this trend line of 2250 i think long term dollar cost average that area is fine maybe ethereum is going to be one of those altcoins that gets to you can see a little under 300 billion it might be able to do a 4x from here and possibly get up to 10k i think 10k ethereum for the next cycle top would be a target to watch for uh, but before that if it was to get bearish you would watch for this 20 a $2,080 mark and below that in very bearish territory around 1700 let's go over to Solana every alt season there is a new altcoin that is just the top the darling altcoin and in 2017 that was XRP in 2021 I dare say it was Doge this time around I think it's going to be Solana we can even see that uh, by market cap if we go way up to the top coin market cap outside of ethereum solana is at around the 70 billion dollar mark so as far as absolute tops if i'm talking about ethereum doing something like a 4x that would you could see right here that'd be somewhere a little over a trillion so 1.2 trillion solana i think a realistic expectation um, not being stupid bullish but just conservatively bullish 
I would be taking a look at a price target maybe seven times as somewhere in the 400 to 500 billion dollar range. I, I do think that a lot of crypto YouTubers and people on X, they just throw ridiculous prices and they'll, they'll be talking about Solana going to 10K, XRP to 10K, all this crap. You do have to consider market cap and what's realistic as far as those are concerned. And I know market cap is an evolving, changing thing, but you can't just throw out magical high numbers just because it feels good and you want to think about being a, a millionaire with the larger caps that is a lot harder to do so i think a 7x in a very bullish conservative scenario uh would be something to look for you can see here so i have there's a couple different indicators i use and whatever indicators you use guys i recommend that you have a few and you try to get really good at them maybe a handful and i have the moving averages buy sell signals we talk about the rsis a, a little bit uh, and we also have this fibonacci retracement so we drew this fib solana near that 786 fib if it breaks underneath this 200 day moving average you can see it's been tagging that 786 fib at around 124. Now, if Solana were to get underneath that, and let's make sure this FIB's on log scale. It is. Cool. If it were to get underneath that in a, let's say there is just a freak sell-off uh, that came into the crypto market within the next coming months, and then I'd be taking a look at the $70 level. If Solana got underneath the 786 to the 618, then maybe we could see something around the $70 mark for Solana. And one reason I'm possibly looking for this, I'm not saying it is going to happen, this is just the average for the S&P 500 during election years. And you can see here, October, November, that's right in here, tends to be one of the weakest months for selling off in an election year. Again, doesn't mean it has to happen. Things are a little bit different every time. Uh, and even though history doesn't repeat, it does rhyme a little bit. So going into the elections, I'm, I'm curious to see if we are going to see our typical bit of weakness around this time. So just keep that in the back of your head. You know, doesn't have to happen, but if it does, just something to look out for in a bearish scenario. Otherwise, you want to see Solana get to its former all-time high, uh, which is up here around 256. So that would be bullish. Gets above there. Sky's the limit. We'll talk about price targets for that or how to get price targets. Um, but right now, we have lower highs and another red sell signal, uh, doji candle, so undecided. And if it does come down, well, you can see here we have a 100-week moving average, so probably be some support here around 100, 105 before going down to 70. Let's take a look at Doge next. I know we have a few Doge fans out there, and this fib needs to be put on the log CL, so let's correct that. So Doge got up to the 0.5 fib, came down all the way to the macro 236. Again, we drew from the last height of the low. Uh, and you can see after getting to the 236 and the 200 week moving average had a nice bounce, came up to that trend line. That's why we keep trend lines, guys. Even if we get these breakouts, sometimes they can be fake outs. So uh, right now it doesn't show a sell signal, but it is possible now that it's turned red, this turns into a sell signal. So if you were to get Doge anywhere near this nine cent range, oh, all the way down to the seven and a half cent range, guys, I think that is a really great area for deep value. Now, of course, if if Doge or any of these altcoins are going to be ones that run and do a 7x, a 10x, a 20x, if we repeat what other cycles have done before, and again, I talk about this in the videos every week, early in the week on the rainbow chart, if altcoins, and you pick the right ones, do what they have before, you are not going to care if you got Doge at 10 cents or 7 cents. So if Doge is to break new all-time highs and get to a buck 50, you're not going to care if your overall portfolio is getting a 15x or more. And so you look for areas of dollar cost average. And I like looking at picking up the dips on these macro fib levels. You can also take a look at these buy signals. I prefer the weekly and then the stochastic RSI 
when that flips positive. I like those areas as someone who dollar cost averages in and looks for deep value. So you can see right here, the stock RSI on the weekly, it is getting a little extended. Now it can stay extended and go higher. As you guys see back here, that is possible. Uh, otherwise, if it's getting ready to roll over, the next time it comes down here, we don't know where the price will be, but every time it flips positive, blue above orange, that's another good way to look at dollar cost averaging. So uh, Doge, it does look like it's a little getting a little bit high on the stock RSI. I'm curious to see what actually Bitcoin looks like on the regular RSI. Maybe we'll finish with that. Um, but yes, we do have a sell signal. Do know if you buy here, it is possible you could be catching a fallen knife and maybe wait for further support to the downside. So again, I, I could see it getting to those lower moving averages. Let's go over to Chainlink. Chainlink, one of my favorite altcoins. And this is why we draw trend lines, guys. So I uh, drew this trend line because we were making higher lows and ran into it, ran through it, and now it's struggling to stay with it. So Link showing some weakness. And you can see here it's been staying with the 200 week moving average and if link you can see right now just chopping sideways higher lows though more macro lower highs but if it was to break under this higher low structure which looks like it's getting ready to possibly do then you could take a look at this 236 fib at about eight dollars and 69 cents nice uh, as possible areas for chain link fetch so Fetch showing some weakness there, weekly sell signal. Uh, Fetch was to get down somewhere around this 786 Feb at around 60-ish cents. Hey, Fetch, it has AI in the name. So you know if something has AI in the name in the world of crypto, which is really stupid, it's probably going to do pretty well. <laughs> so Fetch, you know, it's one of those, man, it was all the way down here as low as 7 to 9 cents, and it got all the way up here. So if this next cycle is going to be a good one for alts, I'd say 60 cents, not a bad area to possibly look at getting some value. Let's take a look at Jasmine. So Jasmine find is still, you know, holding up pretty well. I'll say it's staying at that 382 fib, the 150 week moving average. But if it were to show some weakness under here, then you could possibly see Jasmine fall off to the 236. Uh, IMX, this is a gaming token that I, I think might be able to do very well. Let's throw this macro fib on log scale. And if it if it breaks this higher low structure, gets under the 0.5, then you'd be taking a look at that $1 IMX. Uh, any others I want to take a look at? that I'm just trying to think of ones that you guys have commented on in the past. ACH holding on to that 382. Again, I, I don't think it's the worst to get some ACH right here if this is an altcoin you're a fan of, um, but you could possibly be patient or you know dollar cost averaging more at a later time if it got to that 1.3 cent uh, area for, for ACH. There's another one I talked about before. I think I pissed a lot of people off with my analysis on it. That was Arrow. So we were talking about Arrow somewhere in here. And I was saying back then, and I maintain this view, that whenever altcoins or IPOs come out, I'm very cautious. I, I tend to stay away, at least for a while, like a, a year or so, just to see what it does, because I want a competitive advantage with the chart analysis. Now, if you've done your research and you think it sounds great, hey, have at it, take an educated gamble. Uh, but I will say or caution you, in the world of crypto, a lot of these white papers are too good to be true and four years from now most of these new altcoins aren't even around or talked about anymore so it's a weird space it's a stupid space uh crypto it's a do be careful but arrow right now as far as just charting you can see here that after it made that high at around two dollars thirty cents came down had some good candle body support at the 382 at around 63 cents even wicked down once to 42 cents give or take so you know right here there's a little bit of a ceiling with some price structure you can see the wicks sort of creating a ceiling maybe it's going to go up higher but and rechallenge that uh all-time high there but if it does roll over again then i'd be watching for those areas 
for a deeper value, somewhere around 41 to 62 cents. So let's go over to Bitcoin. Let's close with this. I was talking about the RSI and one thing to look for. Well, we got to take, I have the free version. I, I don't get paid by YouTube yet. So, you know, free version until that happens. Uh, but we're going to take a look at the RSI on the weekly. And you can see here, uh, possible, you could say there's some strength turning around in the RSI uh, right there on the weekly. So right now, though, still in a macro downtrend. Uh, as far as on the daily, what do we got here? On the daily, I do like seeing these higher lows. You can see here, higher low here on the RSI, uh, higher low here on the RSI, even when the price was lower. The price went lower, but the dip of it went higher. So you can say some bullish divergence, and you can see here the peaks going higher, even though the price is lower. So that would be another indicator of bullish divergence on the daily. So maybe there's some hidden strength behind Bitcoin possible supports getting ready to do a big move up. And I will say, just by the way, Bitcoin's been acting for a while. It's been accumulating, going sideways. Guys, crypto, I, I've seen it act this way just a handful of times before, especially with uh, specific altcoins or Bitcoin. When it goes sideways like this for a while, and starts loading up and charging up, it is building up strength to do a big move, whether it's to the upside or the downside, I don't know. But I will say the longer this goes on, the more this feeling grows in me that Bitcoin is probably gonna have a pretty big move coming soon. Again, I don't know if it's gonna be to the downside, if we're gonna get that flush and go somewhere to you know, 47 to 50K, that, it's possible you never know uh or if it's getting ready to shoot up you know somewhere to uh let's take a look here somewhere around this high 70k number um and start getting mega stupid bullish so we've been talking about this for a while altcoins being at a discount hope your dollar cost averaging in not financial advice but just in case we go lower i i personally i'd be taking a look at that as an opportunity to get more um and case in point, I'll just leave you with this. After the mid-cycle top last cycle, you can see as far as moving averages go, when Bitcoin was near the 50, that's the orange line, the 50-week moving average, these were the last good areas to buy anywhere at near the 50 or underneath, okay? We've got near the 50. Maybe we're going to get near underneath again. I don't know um, if it's anything like last time. You know, Bitcoin kept going down until the Fed stop uh, cutting rates when they pause. So we'll see if that happens again this time. I don't know. Um, you know, we have seasonality working against us with the election cycle. But if we're ever near these areas, even if everyone's talking about the sky falling, I, I'd be taking a look at dollar cost averaging in some more there because I do believe that the next crypto or Bitcoin target will be around the 2618, we have to take this off log scale. It's not going 800,000, sorry to burst your bubble. Uh, but the 2618 at 155, that's kind of my area. I don't know if it's gonna just kind of get up to it or a little bit over it in between these two areas, but those are the 2618 at 150K, three trillion market cap is the area I'm looking for next year for a cycle top. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, have a great day.